Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> In this video, I will show you how to connect two pieces of hardware. One is Raspberry Pi Pico with integrated temperature sensor but without integrated Wi-Fi module. So we have to connect uh, the Raspberry Pi Pico with external Wi-Fi module from Waveshare. And then I will shamelessly copy someone's code from internet. Wait a minute! Who are you? And create a web server which prints out these temperature values in web browser. So whoever connects to this Wi-Fi module with IP address from the web browser will see the data in their web browser so without wasting further time and screen space by showing my face let's start connecting them go to the browser and type tony windows if you are using any other os choose those os in the download page this is the download page you can see it is in mac as well and linux as well so once it is downloaded, obviously you have to open and install. But uh, to make the video lengthy, I, I, I have to keep this part as well. So hit next, all those boring stuff and install the Tony editor. So this Tony code editor is primarily used for editing and uploading the code to the raspberry pi pico open the editor you can see the screen initially now i am just making sure that um, python is installed correctly by typing basic hello print statement saving the file obviously save it and I ran it so you can see the hello it has printed now here comes the main part so this is Waveshare Wi-Fi module it has two pins in this left top corner and right top corner which are transmission and receiving ends and power and um, ground respectively similarly we have uh, gpio pins in the left and um, uh, voltage and ground pins in the right of my um, uh, raspberry pi microcontroller now i have connected all those pins with uh, specific color codes red black for vcc and ground respectively and uh, green and yellow for transmission and receiving end so I'm taking the USB cable which has one side micro USB and I'm connecting the USB to the Pico microcontroller. That's how it has to be done. Here comes the important part. To enable the editing mode in Pico, you have to click the boot select button. That's the white button there. Hold that and connect the USB to the USB port. Holding the button and then after connecting after two seconds release the button that's how you will have the interface connected to the computer after connecting pico the wi-fi module should have this light then come back to the tony editor go to the right bottom corner and you can click the micro python there which will open this prompt basically it is installing micro python inside pico once it is done now i have copied and pasted the web server code from internet and i am explaining that basically it will open a wi-fi hotspot with that name pos and then it will print this line in the web browser when someone opens the web browser and access this ip and obviously it is reading the temperature so when i run it okay I got an error that's fine it's a formatting error so i copied the content and i repasted it so now i am running it again and it looks fine it says it is printing this line in the browser and it was it also has an error okay we can ignore it's not my code right so i can go there and i can go to the wi-fi settings and i can see that now 
can just connect to that and I can go to this IP address here now I should see the temperature on top of the screen and here it goes it is printing temperature values after certain interval of time and it's 30 degrees here shit hi hope you are doing good and uh, thank you for watching the video if you are new to this channel i upload completely random videos but i call it developers hub i do upload some coding stuff and programming in different languages and some setup videos like this and also i started doing travel vlogs as well if you haven't seen my latest video please check the channel and make sure you subscribe that's all thank you see you in the next video